Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, look at this rain that unfortunately did not make its way into our viewing area. It stayed off to the west and the south of our viewing area in Kansas City. Maybe just a sprinkle here and there, but for the most part, we did not get anything. Possibly a little bit about a trace of an inch, but that is not much at all. We are starting to see some more rain showers continuing to filter south into southeast Iowa. So we'll start to see an increase in cloud cover as well as some showers and thunderstorms for tonight. Temperatures right now very nice, 81 degrees at the Kirksville Regional Airport, dew point 69 and relative humidity levels at 67 percent. Winds are out of the south southeast at 7 miles per hour. Tell them what? Coming in equally as nice, 82 degrees. Winds are out of the north at 9 miles per hour. Relative humidity levels at 58 percent. And dew point 66, 81 in Macon, 82 in Fairfield, Centerville, coming in at 85 degrees. Well, again, uh, for today's weather watcher, we have Adam Drummond. Low of 68 in his backyard, high of 86, and no precipitation. Hopefully, it better change for tonight is all I have to say. We have got about a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, 66 degrees as your overnight low. We definitely need the rain on the area. Winds will remain on the light side. We could pick up up to a half inch of rainfall from tonight. There's that stationary front that's sitting right above the Iowa border into Missouri. Watch what happens as this moves through Saturday and Saturday night. It continues to push farther south of our viewing area. So actually, Saturday as well as most of the day on Sunday is going to be pretty decent. Uh, we do have another system off to the west as the stationary front sits right along into the central portions of the U.S. And this is going to continue to stay with us as we're heading into next week uh, with a chance for some more showers and thunderstorms. If you're looking for something to do and for the kids, check this out. Backpack giveaway that's going to be going on at the First Pentecostal Church. Uh, kindergarten through fifth graders will get a backpack with school supplies, so doubly nice. Temperatures at 9 a.m. will be about 71 degrees. Again, that lasts from 9 a.m. to noontime. And we'll see a pretty decent day as we're heading into the afternoon. 82 degrees with partly sunny skies. And northeast winds around 5 to 10 miles per hour. For tomorrow night, 61 degrees with partly cloudy skies. And northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. 79 degrees on Sunday. Partly sunny and a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Moving in late Sunday night. Monday, um, partly sunny, warmer, 82 degrees. Chance of showers and thunderstorms both on Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the lower 80s, overnight lows in the lower 60s, and then creeping up into the mid to upper 60s. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So, all in all, I think it's pretty decent week. You can't really beat them for this time of year. Not for the first part of August. We're supposed to be about 87 mm -hmm. degrees. We're in the lower 80s yeah. to 8, 79 yeah. on Sunday. Much more comfortable. It is comfortable, and actually it's better for uh, your electric bill. Yeah. <laughs> and crops and everything. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Teresa. Coming.